your clothing. What do you want to do? I, w- I really want to do the same thing as she do. I want to help with black businesses and help inspire other children to start working on what they want to do in their future. It's one thing to have self-love and be empowered about who you are, but it's another when you can have a shirt and accessories that express the same admiration. Tell me a little bit about Back to My Roots. Like, what exactly is this? Tell me how it all got started and everything. It actually started from me going natural in 2011, and I said, oh, I'm Back to My Roots. So I decided to do a T-shirt that said Back to My Roots, and then it has expanded to a pro-black T-shirt line as well as natural hair. So when you went natural, you know, in regards to, regards to your hair, if people are like, what does it going natural mean? To your hair, you know, you went without a relaxer. When you did that, were you just like, okay, I'm excited about having natural hair. Let me, you know, have clothes and earrings to match that. Is that kind of too how it worked out? Yes, I was like, okay, I'm natural now. I have returned to my natural state. So let me go ahead and say it with the shirt. And then I kept saying it with the shirt. <laughs> and I kept saying it with the shirt. Okay. So so I heard that your son has been, like, kind of inspired by you. Like, he does a little of his own clothing type of thing. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, he started drawing, I believe it was the year before last, just doodling a little bit. And then I started noticing he was getting better and better and better. So last year, he um, drew a few um, cartoon characters on shirts. So I told him to keep doing it, mm-hmm. keep doing it. So now he's starting a line with jeans that he's drawing on. I love that. So now we're going to keep just have the dollars just circulating throughout this house. You're going to be doing stuff, and then your son probably going to be. I mean, who knows where he'll be a year from now, you know? I love that. And he's only 13, so he's got a ways to go. Now, since this is an online boutique, people can go to your website and view. Um, Have you just had United States customers, or have you gone international? I have gone international. I have shipped to France Amsterdam, Kenya, and some other countries as well. Wow. So how do people find out about your products and everything? It started just on Facebook. And then when I started Instagram, I started doing promotions from other companies. And I haven't done a promotion with another company in almost a year. And I just promote my my Mm T-shirts on my Back to My Roots Instagram and Facebook. Social media has been, like, just phenomenal, I feel like, in the 2000s. Like, it's just really booming. Like, I feel like, you know, your products are booming because of Instagram or social media. You know, Better Black News is solely on social media. Like, you know, do you feel like the same way? Yes. It it really has helped grow my business. Mm -hmm. I don't think if I I didn't have social media, I don't know what I would do, really. (laughs) So tell me, like, what are – what is your favorite shirt? Because you have so many – options for people to choose from I love all this and you even told me this is not all of your products no, like what what is, so how do you design all this how does this what? it I think of it and then I have a graphic designer draw it up and we go from there my favorite shirt right now is pro black is not anti-white because I want people to know that we can love ourselves without hating someone else right. And I never understood that. Just because I say I love being black, where do you get I hate white or I hate Hispanic or I hate Asian? Right, you know? right. You have to love yourself no matter what color you are. And just because you love yourself does not mean you hate someone else. That's perfect. Well, y'all heard it here first. I'm Jillian Whitaker reporting for Better Black News, reminding you to be better.